like even the art gallery space is weird man go to santa monica i don't know if i sent you this there's an art on the on the third promenade that little mall in santa monica there's a place mm -hmm. called quantum it's an art gallery nft based it says crypto web 3 on the glass in the front i was like holy moly look at this this is a freaking brick and mortar retail shop for it's it's an art gallery but it's clean um it's just it's just art on t on tv screens that you can qr um when you qr you can manipulate the screen a little bit and you can buy it on open right there um there's some limited edition like physical pieces you can only buy in store that's kind of cool but mm -hmm. so i went to that art gallery in an alley <clears throat> you know if you've been in la you've been to those grungy freaking art warehouse and it's a horrible experience this place was a little bit cooler and when i was in the alley i was like how is this how can you make this more digital and fun and i was like it and then when i went to the quantum store i was like this is cleaner i like clean and it's like a hub for folk um but it's still like in it's still not fully digital and fully cool like just one step above qr code which apparently qr code is like ubiquitous i didn't realize that until that week like qr code someone was like your generation yeah. is the qr code scanners and i was like what and then sure and especially after post pandemic menus and all that stuff qr code um just throwing a little ar at least and especially with art if you could if you scan a thing and you get a little Star Wars hologram person that pops up next to it, hopefully in glasses. That's what I want. But through your phone, just the, the closest reach right now. And you get the art, the artist itself talking about the art, already a better experience. Because I, as a non-art person, kind of, um, you need some just kind of story and lore to get like emotionally attached to a piece. And, you know, an AR artist telling you this is the story of blah 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 cool um but I, as I was going through this week I was like how can all of these experiences be a little bit more digital a little bit more immersive to make things cooler sound and and you know holograms popping up and that was going through my head a lot that's fun um do you um do you ever have a Wii or a Wii um like I played it. Yes. Yeah, I played it. Do you remember when you used to be on the menu and you used to like hover over the icons, you would feel like a little mm -hmm. vibration in mm -hmm. the thing? Yeah. That's how I imagine like when you look at stuff like art in the future with your glasses and you go over something that has information, it'll mm -hmm. like jolt your yeah. like thing and like information. So I, I think the, that the first bridge to that will probably be less haptic like that and more sound. Mm. I saw someone with uh, the snap glasses mm -hmm. and there's like bone conduction for hearing the snap glasses. Um, mm. That can probably be some haptics, but I think before full haptics you you get sound as the next dimension for interacting with things in in xr there's someone making kind of like the sound interface for things but as you go by you know uh, for like tourists you see a a statue and a little it, it, the airpod experience but a little bit better um, yeah i think that's the first stone for like full like haptic uh vibration it's gonna be nasty let me just turn on the tree app so when i walk past the tree i get a little haptic vibration and it tells me what kind of tree it is google lens google fuck. it tells you stuff about what what is this stuff and you just put that in the classes